Hello and welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you to the backyard on this beautiful start to the day. A little bit chilly, but not bad at all. We're supposed to have a warm-up for the next three days. And, of course, rain coming in. And then somebody's going to leave the deep freezer door open. We're fixing to get cold and wet. Other than that, it's a beautiful day. It's winter time. And it's time to save some more seeds and get them ready for spring planting. Now, today... I know it's not going to be a big deal to a lot of people, but I'm going to be saving zinnia seeds because I absolutely love zinnias and marigolds. But today is going to be, let's harvest. Well, it's already been harvested. They've been dried. Now we got to process them. So I know there's a lot of people who already know how to do it, but we got a lot of people that starting to wake up and learning that, yeah, we need to start saving seeds of all kinds. So let's get over here and get busy. Now, of course, there are multiple ways to save the seeds out of zinnias. You can just pull the whole petal out with the seeds attached or I, what I like to do is I try to keep them as clean as possible you want good sharp scissors you don't want to pull and you just snip just the petals not the seeds because if you snip the seeds See, here, even though you be, you're being as careful as you can, there's one seed right there already popping out. I have let these dry very well, so they are definitely ready to be harvested, well, no, cleaned, and put up for starting to grow when it gets warm. Now, if you're in one of those places where it stays warm, yeah, you shouldn't have no problem there. And then you just put your seed head down. Now, this is going to be a mixture of zinnias. There's uh, cactus bloom ones, there's double ones, all kinds of colors. I like mixing them. Now, sometimes I try to keep them separated. But when I was harvesting these, I wasn't worried about keeping them separated. Now, when you're trimming the petals back, you have to know where to stop or where the seeds are at. Because if you snip your seeds, it's not, they're not going to germinate and grow. <laughs> See, it bounced and a bunch of the seeds come out. Here's a pretty one here. They were some gorgeous, gorgeous zinnias of all kinds of colors. And I am looking forward to growing them this year. You just have to be patient. And don't pull when you cut. Because those seeds will pop out very easily. Now, I can see some seeds in the petals. That's okay. I'm just going to spread this, the petals, somewhere when I get done. 
So any seeds that are in them will still germinate come spring when it warms up enough. Just remember where you toss them. Alright, I'm going to keep going and I'll bring you back as soon as I get done with these. Okay, I have cleaned most of all of them up. I put a couple back in the bag because they were just disintegrating because they're so dry. But look at that. Hundreds, hundreds of zinnia seeds. Just easily come off. The reason I like to do it this way is it takes less storage space. The goes evil can evil. But yeah, now. Some, like these, the seeds are probably not fertile. That's fine. But, yeah. One zinnia flower. One will give you hundreds of seeds, and I'm not kidding when I say hundreds. And all you do is just gently pull them out. See, see, each one of those will be a zinnia plant. Now, think about it. How many flowers grow on one zinnia? You grow one plant, and you will have all the seeds you need pretty much for the rest of your life. I do plant some flowers in my garden for the pollinators to attract them but I don't want too many flowers because I don't want the bees be the pollinators which mean the bees the wasp your native bees your native wasp your bumblebees I don't want them all focused on just the flowering plants I want them in there pollinating the vegetables as well you can overdo it on flowers in your garden and yeah they'll be more interested in the flowers than your vegetables look at all those all those are zinnias And of course, these are big zinnia, zinnia blooms, so the seeds will be a little bigger. If you grow the small little single zinnias, then your seeds will be smaller. On those double zinnias, that's what the inside of the flower looks like. And that's where the petals come off of to be pollinated to make more seeds. And all you do is keep pulling the seeds out. Mm 
can see they are attached to that little center cone. You just pull them off. You can see how big the cone is on that one. And that is what your zinnia seeds should look like right there. It makes it easier to plant them come springtime or scatter them in your garden here and there. Now, a lot of times up towards the tip, the seeds sometimes do not make. And that's fine. That's perfectly fine. All right, I'm going to finish cleaning these up. I don't think any of those made. I'll put them in the bucket. All right, I'll bring you back as soon as I'm done. Okay, now I am done with this batch. I have a, a little grocery bag that's full of more loose ones. But look at that. All of that are potential zinnia plants. If done right, the seed should only have to be bought one time or traded for or swapped for or given one time. Because after that, you should be able to continue to grow them as long as you save your seed and of course now i got these from the botanic garden so i don't know what species they are i do remember the colors of some of them and i cannot wait to see them in bloom this year in bloom let me try to find there is one one little zinnia seed here's another one here's a good example This is what a zinnia seed looks like at the end of the flower petal. But now, like I said, I have the petals down here. I know for a fact there was one or two of the flower heads that just fell apart. And all the seeds went in here. But you know what? That's perfectly fine. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these to the ones that have already fell apart. And I will have those to just cast. I'm not going to do all of them. But cast a little here, cast a little there. See how many come up and roll with it from there. Simple, easy. Anybody can do this. You can do this. If I can do it, you can do it. <coughs> Save your seeds. Yes, it's good to have some flowers. But we need to focus on growing food as much as possible. The pollinators will love you. You're... The beauty will make you happy, and it will bring peace within 
Yes, it does make the garden a beautiful place to be. But there has to be balance. Because if there's too many flowers, your vegetables will not get pollinated. Simple, easy, you can do it. You can order or buy some from a co-op. Or you can swap, barter, get some seeds. Make sure that you grow them that next growing season. And you'll be stopped. For a very, very long time. Everyone stay safe and sound in this crazy world. Because I'm telling you, it's getting worse day by day. Stay safe. Keep your eyes and ears open. Continue to stock up seeds that will grow in your area. Stock up your pantries with food. That is nutritious and will sustain you. Continue to stock up on medicine that will heal you. Protection of all kinds as well as the bare essentials. Everyone take care. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. And may you each be blessed. Hoot hoot. I'll see you soon.